Okay, so here's another little bit harder problem using the Bohr equation to figure out something that we don't know about a system. Okay, so it's a spectroscopy problem. And in this one, we have a lithium 2 plus ion, and it's in an unknown initial energy state. Okay, and it's going to absorb a 291 nanometer photon, and it's going to end up in the fifth excited state. Okay, so what we're going to do first is determine the initial energy state, and then second, we're going to draw an energy state diagram that shows this transition. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing that we want to do is remind ourselves of a few equations. Okay, so the modified Bohr equations, so delta E atom is equal to negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules, okay? Remember that's multiplied by z squared, okay? Takes into account that it's not hydrogen. If it was hydrogen, it would just be one, okay? And then one over n final squared minus one over n initial squared, okay? So that's our first reminder Another reminder, of course, is that E photon is equal to HC over lambda, okay? And we're going to use that. I'm not going to write it down quite yet, but we're going to use that when we use that wavelength of that photon to calculate the energy. All right, so let's look at what we actually have here, okay? So we have given the final energy state, okay? Now, the fifth excited state, what does that mean? All right, so remember, ground state, n equals 1, first excited state, n equals 2. And so if we follow that logic, then our final, that fifth energy state is actually n equals 6, is actually nf equals 6, okay? And then we're looking for where it started, and then we have a wavelength for a photon, so that means we can use hc over lambda, okay? We know we're going to use that somewhere, and we'll talk about where. And the last thing is, instead of hydrogen, now we have a lithium 2 plus ion. Because remember, this Bohr equation is good for atoms and ions with one electron. So hydrogen has one electron. And then lithium 2 plus, it also has one electron. So the Z for lithium, of course, is 3. Okay? So that's the atomic number for lithium. All right? So we have this guy. All right? We're looking for this one. All right, so we basically have everything else. Now, let's talk about delta E atom, though. Okay, so we're going to, we, we already have to look for the initial energy state, so we have to wait, have a way to get delta E atom. All right, and this lithium ion is absorbing a photon, so it's taking in energy. All right, and because we have the wavelength of the photon, then we can actually just go ahead and calculate that delta E atom. Because remember, delta E atom, the absolute value of that, okay, is equal to E photon. Okay, so that's the change in energy. When that photon is absorbed, then the energy change is equal to the energy in that photon. All right? So let's go ahead and calculate the energy of that photon. Okay, so remember we have to convert this into meters. Okay, but I'm going to do it the quick and easy way. So E photon is equal to HC over lambda. Okay, and let's fill that in. So 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. That's Planck's constant times the speed of light, 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, okay? And we're going to divide that by our wavelength of our photon converted to nanometers, so that'll be 291 times 10 to the negative 9 meters, okay? So that's non-standard scientific notation, so we could either do that, but also remember if we did just convert it to meters, we would have and put it in standard scientific notation, it'd be 2.91 times 10 to the negative 7 meters, okay? So that's equivalent, though. All right, so let's go ahead and get that E photon. So when we put everything in there, then we're going to end up with 
6.826 times 10 to the negative 19 joules, okay? And remember, that is that change in energy of the atom. So the atom, actually in this case the ion, lithium-2 plus ion, absorbed that much energy and it promoted it up to this fifth excited state, okay? So it went up in energy because it absorbed it. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next page that, on the presentation and fill everything in because I want to have lots of room to do this, okay? Go to the next page, okay, and I'm going to rewrite our equation. So we have delta E atom is equal to negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules, Z squared, okay? 1 over nf squared minus 1 over ni squared. Okay, all right, so there is the Bohr equation, and then we remember that this is 3, z is 3, the atomic number is 3 for lithium, this guy's 6, and the energy of our photon is 6.826 times 10 to the negative 19 joules, and so, and remember, that's delta E atom. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill everything in. So we have 6.826 times 10 to the negative 19 joules, and that's going to be equal to negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules, multiplied by 3 squared, okay, divide it, and then we're going to have this factor, so we have 1 over 6 squared minus 1 over ni squared. So that's what we're going to be solving for, okay? So here I'm just going to put a little line here so we don't get confused. Okay, all right, so that is our filled in equation. So now basically all we have to do is chug through the numbers, all right? So let's start on that, okay? So if we multiply negative 2.18 times 10 to negative 18 times 9, then we're going to get negative 1.962 times 10 to the negative 17. Okay, we're still going to have this guy, and it'll be 1 over 36 minus 1 over ni squared. Okay, and that's still going to be equal to 6.82 times 826 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Okay, all right, so let's Divide 1 by 36, all right? Actually, I think we're not going to do that next. We are going to go ahead and divide this guy out. That makes more sense. Okay, and remember that's joules. I didn't write that earlier. Okay, so negative 1.962 times 10 to negative 17 joules. Okay, and we are going to get negative 0 0.034791 is equal to 1 over 36 minus 1 over ni squared, okay? And then let's go ahead and divide 1 by 36 now, okay? We'll get 0 0.027778, just to make sure we have enough decimal places. 1 over ni squared, and that's still negative 0 0.034791, okay? Now let's subtract this guy off, okay? So we're going to subtract off negative, well, subtract 0 0.027778, so that's going to be minus 0 0.027778. So now we end up with negative 0 0.06259, actually 69. That's going to be equal to negative 1 over ni squared. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, so now let's cancel out our negatives. Boink, boink. All right, and we'll multiply both sides by ni squared. Okay, and then we're also going to divide this out, 0 
five, six, nine. Okay, and that's going to end up over here. So then we're going to end up with ni squared is equal to 1 over 0 0.062569. Okay, and we take the square root of that. Actually, that's going to end up at 15.98. You can probably see where this is going at this point. Okay, it's really close to 16. Take the square root. And we're going to end up with Ni equals 4. So that was the initial energy state. So this lithium 2 plus ion was in the, was in N equals 4, okay? And it absorbed that photon and went up to N equals 6, the fifth excited state. So it went from the third excited state to the fifth excited state. And so now all we're going to do is draw our energy state diagram on the next slide. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Alright, so we found out that it started at n equals 4, okay, and it ended at n equals 6. So n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4, n equals 5, n equals 6. Now these should be getting closer and closer together as we go up in energy, but there's not enough room and things get pretty crowded. So I kept them regularly spaced, okay? And so this guy started in the fifth excited state, okay? And, sorry, he ended in the fifth excited state, and he started here. Okay? And so the transition would be from n equals 4 to n equals 6. Okay? So the important parts of this, the parts to really keep in mind, is that delta E atom, that absolute value of that is equal to that energy of that photon. So... If you have an ion or atom that is absorbing a photon, remember that you calculate the energy of that photon absorbed and you can relate it to that change in energy of the atom. Okay? If this system had gone from a higher energy state, say n equals 6, to n equals 4, then that would have been negative. That energy would have been released. Okay? All right, good job.